Shalom. Sure this relates to um, the BRICS is raging against the U.S. dollar, an extra, uh, an exercise in um, fertility. The world's undisputed king of currency is facing a set of challenges. The U.S. dollar has always dominated the global trade while being the reserve, the world's reserve currency. Nations around the world, however, are skeptical about the U.S. dollar. They want to reduce the, their this dependency or single on a single foreign currency. Taking initiative, breaks um, uh, nations are trying to attract hangers on by whipping up talk of rival currencies. So they want to have the flexibility of using other currencies other than dependent on one specific currency, which is the U.S. dollar. They want to be able to do business in other forms of currency they choose to, huh? instead of having being um, lock and chain and key on um, the U.S. dollar. Huh? Just a quick one. This um, that was a Wyon report. Go to Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. So that's been that golden cup. And then that golden cup is what? Relating to the philosophy. That's that wine, man. And passed that, and that wine has been passed to many all these nations to drink. Now they became drunken, intoxicated by it. Now. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. So they enforced, aggressively enforced these nations through sanctions, through the powers, sanctions, threats of war, and different tactics to upon uh, these nations, man. Um, now, the, now the nations are realizing certain things man. Babylon has been the golden cup in the Lord's hand and made all the earth drunken because what the earth has been given to the hands of the ones in power man so they have the power so they have the, uh, the means the resources and they can, they're, they're, they're the global enforcers man Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. And that wine relates to her ideology, her policies, the ways of the West, man. That's influenced all, all these nations, man. You know, I mean, that's why they fall in the ways of the West. For example, these other countries dressing, they're tired, dressing like the ways of the West, acting the ways in the West, even have, you know, of the tradition and customs of the West in their respective countries, man. So they have drunken of that wine, man. The nations have drunken of our wine, therefore the nations are mad because now they realize what it really is, man. And they don't like it, man. The way Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed, how for her? Take balm for her pain. Now, balm is a ointment, man. So she's in pain, man. So, but nothing, you know, her pain can't be healed, man. So ointment or medication or stuff like that can't heal her, man. Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed, and ultimately that's what's going to happen to Babylon, man. You know, that pomp is uh, breaking down. That's, that pomp is relating to that splendid display, man. That outward appearance. And it's beginning to decay. It's beginning to deteriorate. It's beginning to show the real, uh, the real, you know, is real outward surface, man. Because it, it put a facade of strength and and wealth, strength, and different things. Now that facade is being moving and is exposing for what it really is, man. 
weakness, deterioration, uh, dilapidation, decay, man. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. If she if she could be healed, she will be healed, but she can't. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth into the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Man. So the Lord remembers relating to the things she has done, the wickedness she has done. So it's reaching out where he remembers, man. So forsake her. Micah 2 and 10. Uh, arise ye for this is not a place of your rest it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction so separate yourself or the, or the, otherwise you're going to rotate relating to her judgment man. that scripture with the pump Hell from beneath his move for thee to meet thee at thy coming and stir up from the dead for, for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth, power, and have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, man. That's the ones in power. Number 10. All they speak. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? So they're weak, man. That being they're they're being brought down, they're being brought down low, man. They're no longer strong like they used to be, man. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, which is to the ground. And that pomp relates to that splendor display, like I was speaking, speaking on. And the noises on the vowels of thy vowels, vowels or music, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee, as it relates to deterioration, the decay, man, decay. Sat down. Number 12. How art thou fallen from the heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning? That relates to the ones who are the carnal counterpart who's in the position of powers on earth. Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked, man. So they, they are the ones in the position of power, man. That's the ones that the Lord allowed them to be in the position of power. He gave, he blessed them with the fatness and riches of the earth, man. By using his blessing as the sword, so he so he gave, you know, he gave them a rulership in a matter of speaking, man. How art thou fallen from the heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? And ultimately, it did weaken the nations, you know? Through his policies, his ideology, the ways of the West, ultimately have weakened the nations, man. Even the other nations have become, you know, deteriorated from, have become, you know, have been, become affected by it, man, as well, man. Number 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, which is mine, I will exalt into the heavens. I, I will exalt my throne. The scripture talks about, uh, I sit a queen, I shall see no heaven. I, sh I sit a queen, I shall see no sorrow, relating to her um, in Revelation 18. So that relates to being in the position of power. Also, uh, her, her, her pride saying that I will never be taken down. For thou hast said in, in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God I will sit also upon the mountains of the congregation and the size of the north scripture talk about in Psalms talk about um, let me see what I get it hey 
biggest song is 49. Or 11, I think. Songs 49 and 11. And their inward thoughts. And their inward thoughts. That their houses shall continue forever. So they believe that their rulership will continue forever. That goes to that pride, man. You know. I shall sit as I shall be. I shall sit as a queen, and I shall see no sorrow. So that queen represents a, one in the position of, of, of power, man. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. And they call their lands after their own names. After they take over them, they call them after their own names, man. America at that um, uh, what's the thing um, Afro uh, Scipio Africanus um, America Vespucci um, um, relating to um, uh, Christopher Col uh, Columbus uh, Columbia um, let me say Yeah, um, Aramingo um, Vespucci and um, um, uh, um, um, One is one of them. Domingo Vespucci, Italian merchant, explorer, navigator from Republic of Florence, whose name was termed America, derived between 1497-1504. Vespucci participated in two voyages of the Age of Discovery, the first on behalf of Spain, and then to Portugal. And you have, uh, let me say, the other one. Scipio Africanus, man, which they ultimately after Africa. Uh, Cornelius Scipio uh, uh, Africanus, Roman general, statesman, most notable for the uh, uh, main architects, Roman victory of the Carthage. That relates to the, um, the first and second Punic Wars, um, fighting against Hannibal and stuff. Um, he's born 236 BC, died 183 BC. So, so they take over. The point is, they take these ones. They take they take over these lands and name them after themselves, man. little bit of it. Victory in Africa earned him the epithet. Uh, African is literally meaning Af the African, but meant to be understood as the conqueror of Africa. Scipio conquest of the uh, Carthaginian uh, Iberia culminated in the Battle of Elipia uh, in 206 BC against what? Hannibal, brother against Hannibal's brother against Hannibal's brother um, uh, Mako uh, uh, Mago Mago Barca Barca Aramango Vespucci, Italian navigator for uh, namesakes of America. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to that scripture. Sherlock. And their inward thoughts in their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They shall call their lands after their own selves. So pretty much their inward thoughts with their minds, they'll think their rulership will continue. 
forever. That's the pride of it. Go back to uh, so you see in the hegemony, the hegemony, which is the sovereignty and power, begin to. Uh, Hegemony, hegemony, which relates to leadership, dominance, dominion, supremacy, and that relates to that dollar, man. The dominance of the dollar, the supremacy of the dollar, the, the pretty much the chieftain, the principle of relating to the global main global currency, the sovereignty, which relates to the staff, the ruler of power, relates to that dollar, man. A power and control through that dollar, they can do what? U.S. dollar, they can control. Everything, man. You know, where they can enforce, they can enforce, and make people exercise to use that dollar, man. So this was just a few relating to that video. Um, Genevy, lock on that it's pronunciation. Lead, uh, leadership of dominance, especially by one country or social group over others, man. It's all about control, power, and dominance, man. Economically, for example. The U.S. is losing its financial hegemony. These other countries, BRICS, which is Brazilian, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South African countries. That's why they want to break, break away from the dependency of the dollar, the, the financial strangulation of the dollar, hold of the dollar, and go to other forms of uh, currency. They will have flexibility, financial flexibility, so they can, you know, do trade and business in other forms of currency, their own in, uh, other forms, instead of depending on one. And that being said, I hope this helps. I want to give all praise. Yahweh Shem Yosha Shem This is Zaya Wolf. I hope it helps. So, wait, Shalom.